Okay, so today I'm going to t show you how to set up, um, this is Dr. Jane's, and I'm going to show you how to set up QCX front end for, uh, I believe it was, uh, NG uh, Spice Simulations, is that right? For, uh, the Linux machine. So if you have a Linux computer and you want to, uh, run some Spice, or, uh, electrical circuit simulations, uh, and you want to do it for free, Here's a great software. Looks like it works pretty good. I, I was using a LT, um, uh, what was it? LT uh, Spice from uh, Linear Technologies, which is free, but that's only operates under Windows. So unless you want to s install Wine on your machine, uh, which I don't want to go through the hassle of showing how to do that, and I don't have Wine on this machine right now, but you can run this this simulation program. It looks like it's pretty good. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a circuit like this with a voltage power supply, a capacitor, an inductor, a resistor, a uh, voltage probe, and a ground, and do a transient simulation. There's, there's other types of simulations you can do, but I wanted to start doing some transient simulations for some projects that I'm working on. And um, you can get plots out like this, which is course what you'd expect, an exponentially decaying oscillating function from uh, this transient. Okay, and so uh, basically a step function input and then the circuit decays and oscillates down because we have a resistor and a inductor and a capacitor. Okay, so let's uh, see how to do this. Okay, Okay, so I just did a quick search and um, of course, they did recommend LT Spice, but you have to install Wine on your computer, and I don't have Wine installed yet, and that would be added complexity. And uh, so, these ones are highly recommended. Let's try one of them, NG Spice. We'll see what that one is. I wonder if NG Spice is under our um, software center. Can we do a search? We could try using GitHub. Maybe that would be the easiest thing to do. <coughs> okay, so let me try copying this guy and let's we'll see if this works. Paste. Oh. I guess I have to install that. Copy. Oh. Pseudo apt install get okay yes Okay, so let's try the GitHub thing. Git clone, git colon, slash slash, git dot code dot blah blah blah. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's downloading the git file for the ng spice. And I uh, guess we'll just let it run and see what happens. We'll have to check out this this uh, program and see how well it does with circuits. Maybe may a little bit of a le learning curve. Okay. And let's see. Please see the install instructions. Okay. So, I guess let me fiddle with it for a second and see if we can figure out how to get this program running. Okay. Okay, so I just tried running it a second ago and just typed in, I figured the name of it, it you know, didn't, didn't bother to uh, read the instructions yet because I'm not sure where they are, but uh, it gave me this uh, error and it says that uh, I should be able to get it with apt-get, I guess. So let's try this, sudo apt install ng spice. Let's see if I spelled that right. Okay. Okay, it looks like it's doing something.
Okay. And juice spice. Okay. Thought there might be a GUI or something. Okay, they want me to read the manual, so I'm going to have to read the manual on this. Okay, so, um, try to install LT Spice, and that one requires Wine because it's written under uh, a Windows, so you need a, a, a Windows emulator if you want to install that on Linux, which I don't have that up right now. And I looked at NG. Uh, spice and the other one, and those are both text-based, which I, I like to look at the circuits. Um, I found this one, QUCX. It says it's uh, got a GUI interface, but it's not complete. Whatever that means, I just want to do some stuff with inductors and capacitors. And it claims it's got something for Ubuntu. And so... Okay. I don't feel like doing a Tarzy. Let, let me just look around for a second. See if I can find something else. Okay. 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 So um, this is our uh, Ubuntu Software Center. If you're running Ubuntu, and um, what I did is I just went up here and I clicked on Search because I guess the Search thing is normally hitting, and we typed in Spice. And um, this is the same one we are just looking at a second ago. It looks like pretty much what I wanted. I, I didn't want to have to uh, do all the manual stuff, but this should do it for you if you uh, do it through the install center on the Ubuntu. That's Quux Spice. So let's try just install installing Quux. And... Uh, We'll see how this goes. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be some type of learning curve with this because I've never used this one before, but we'll do some simple circuits and just see how it operates. Okay. It's amazing how the last 1% takes longer than the first 99%. Okay, let's just try launching it and see what it looks like. Okay, we gotta set up some kind of default simulator, I guess. Oh, it uses NG Spice. Well, I guess I have that already s loaded up, so I guess that was convenient. Okay, so we're gonna use NG Spice as the simulator, and I guess Quox will be the. Uh, front end, and so I guess we did need to load in the NG spice, and so I guess we're all set now. I'm going to have to uh, do some uh, fiddling with this and see how this thing works. And so, actually, Quox is the uh, front end of NG spice, it looks like. So, looks like we're all set, maybe. Okay. Okay, I wonder if we can start a new window here. Oh, I guess we can. Let's just kill out of this. Save select. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find where QUX is. So I've installed it, and it's under our applications. And um, let's get it running. And we're going to start with. Uh, Uh, let's start with a new one, and we're going to call this project, I guess, Test 2, since I called the other one Test 1, and okay, let's go down to components. We have these tabs here, and I want to start with putting some components in here. So let's start with an inductor and a capacitor and 
we'll put a resistor in here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put the US resistor in there because I like that one better. And, uh, let's see. Okay, so these are lumped element components. Let's go to, um, you can click on this uh, little pull-down menu here, and I was looking for uh, probes. Let's get a probe, and I'm going to do a voltage probe. I just want to measure the voltage across our inductor. Okay, so lumped elements, if you want to get back to that, it's up here. Oh, and we wanted one more thing from the lumped elements, because I believe that you're going to need a ground reference for the, the circuit simulator to uh, to uh, set as a ground. And uh, I wanted to find one more thing. Lumped element sources. Okay. I just wanted a DC voltage source. And that's going to provide our initial transient. Okay. So you push escape, the escape key, and you can get out of any mode that you're in. And if you go up to the top here, here's a wire. So you can hook a wire to these different nodes. Okay. And I'm just going to click and bring it around, bring it to the resistor or the, the ground. And, um, Okay, and let's put a voltage probe across the inductor so we can measure something. Okay, and I had to play around with the parameters a little bit because um, uh, you, you want the step size, you don't want the frequency oscillation to be so high and the step size to be so small it's going to take forever or it's going to alias if it's, you know, step size is too large. So let's let's get out of this. I'm going to hit, hit escape. And I'm going to right click on this and it says edit properties. And I'm going to change this to, um, we'll say 10 picofarads. It's at 1 picofarad right now. Go to 10, apply. And I'm going to change the inductor also, edit properties, to 10 nanohenries. And this is way too over resistant, high resistance. That's going to be way over damped. I believe I used in my um, last example uh, 0 0.01 ohms. And that gave a nice um, damping so you could see the oscillations and the damping. And uh, so now to set up for a transient, we have to um, put some specifications on here. There's different different types of um, uh, simulations you can do. And uh, let's see, where was that? Con contents. Oh, maybe it was up here. Insert. <sighs> Tools. Simulate. Okay. Lumped element sources, Verilog, digital components file. Simulations. Okay, so we have to go to the pull down menu under simulations and I'm going to do a transient simulation. And uh, hmm, for some reason I can't move it now. Let's, let's right click on that and edit properties. And I believe that I, uh, this, this time was kind of long for, uh, for this simulation. I think I just wanted 10 nanoseconds, which was about zero one milliseconds. Let me get the decimal point there. And it will automatically change the units if you bring it down like that. And uh, I think I used a step size of uh, 10 nanoseconds. That's 
one microsecond. So let's go to okay, ten nanoseconds. Okay, apply. Okay, let me let me just re-edit this, and I'll show you. It actually changed the units to um, 0.01 milliseconds, which is what I had before, and 10 nanoseconds. Okay. Uh, linear time, s sweep in time. Okay. And so I think this is all set up. So let's go to the uh, simulate button, and w yeah, I guess you can hit F2 also, and we'll start simulating. And uh, we'll just call this test 2a, I guess. I don't know. Save that. Okay, I was having some... Okay, let's just simulate that. Okay, I was having some issues with uh, setting up the plots. So let's just set up a new plot. So after you run the simulation, it goes to the, a new diagram. Uh, and uh, we can pull a plot out here. And uh, this is my voltage probe. These, these are different variables. So if you double click on that, it adds that to the graph. And apply. Okay. And uh, oh, there must be some issue with that circuit. Let me, uh, let me load up the other circuit. I, I'm having a little bit of issues with this. So let's see. I'll uh, open recent. Okay, so I got this transient simulation to work. And when you run the simulation, okay. It comes up with a uh, a diagram and uh, a diagram pa page. So we have the original uh, schematic page and the diagram, and we can take a Cartesian plot out of there. And this is our probe data. We have time data, and uh, I'm not sure what the other data is. But uh, double click on that and OK, and then it creates a plot here. And I thought I was able to rescale it before. If I just hit control. Okay, so there we go. So we're able to uh, plot our exponentially decaying uh, oscillating function. And I got this to work. I can tell you it was a little bit buggy or something, but anyway, you got to double click on that one thing, and that will make your plot there. And so I think this might be a uh, uh, cheap, free, handy type of circuit design program where you can design your own circuits. I know this is a little bit scrunched, but yeah, I could probably move these around. Anyway, I'll, I'll redraw that later. I got this circuit working, and then I was having some issues with the plot, but it looks like um, if you follow that simple little formula, you can get the plot working. And I hope this helps. And uh, anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching. <coughs>